Evelyn from On the Farm with E-I-E-I-O, and I'm going to be doing a monthly series where um, I kind of explain how our YouTube channel is going, what's working for us, what's not working for us, and how to start a YouTube channel. So in our channel is me, Evelyn, I'm 13, and my brother Isaac is 12, Eli is 7, and Isla is 6, and Orin is 2. Make sure you hang on to the end of this video because I am going to be sharing with you our analytics for our first month. So first I'm going to be sharing with you like why we wanted to start a YouTube channel. So I always kind of wanted to do one and I was always asking mom and she thought it would be a good thing for homeschool. So um, we started one and it's been going really well so far and also we wanted to share like the joy of being on the farm with people because a lot of people they can't be on the farm and they can't be around all sorts of animals so we wanted people to be able to that to experience that okay so our first point is what you expect versus what happens on a YouTube channel so a lot of people expect a lot of views their videos go great recording goes perfectly and it's just a super fun thing, but that's not really how it goes. Our first video was horrible, and if I were to re-edit it now, it would be a lot better, but we've only made like 12 videos, and I've definitely learned a lot since then. So the first time we tried to make a video, we went into the barn, and it was about the goats, and it went horrible, the lighting was bad, and it just wasn't recorded from good angles and it was just horrible and we completely deleted that and we tried it again the second time it was better the editing could have been a lot better and everything else but it was definitely a good start so what a lot of people struggle with is what camera should they use and how should they edit their videos and on what software and so I'm gonna tell you what we use for recording, we use either our GoPro or we use iPhone 13 and it has a really good camera and it works really well. And for editing, we have been editing on iMovie, but we got Final Cut Pro and it's a lot more advanced and it's going to allow us to do a lot more things. You do have to pay for it though, um, but it's just a one-time payment and I think it's going to be a good fit for us. But um, iMovie works really well too. So the next thing is you need to try things out. In the beginning, you're not going to know what people are going to want to watch. You're not going to know what's going to hit the algorithm and everything like that. So in the beginning, you got to try out different things. Sometimes what you like is not what YouTube likes. So you got to find what YouTube likes and what the people like and go with that. Like for instance, our videos that are doing really well are with animals. And um, our actual most popular one has a tractor in it and we don't know if that has anything to do with it. Still kind of trying to figure out like what people like and so far everyone loves the animals and new animals and baby animals and stuff like that. Okay, next is thumbnails. Really, thumbnails are different for every kind of channel. Ours that have been working are basically us kids with a, with an animal in a picture, like a cute picture of us with the animal or whatever we're gonna be talking about or doing. And that's what gets a lot of clicks because that's people that tap on our videos, that's what they wanna watch. They wanna watch kids and animals because of course that's what they're looking for. Videos that get more clicks are thumbnails with faces on them. If you see a picture, you're not going to really want to tap on it. So you want to make sure you have faces in your thumbnail. And also you want to have good text because whenever I'm looking at a YouTube video, I read the text on the thumbnail before I read the title because everyone looks at the thumbnail first. So you want to make sure you have some sort of fun text up there. Next, I'm going to explain to you how we're getting noticed on YouTube. It actually tells you in your analytics 
how it comes up. About 70% of the people that are tapping on our videos and watching have been suggested by YouTube. And so we're still trying to find the videos, like what type of videos and thumbnails are getting suggested by YouTube. But it's mostly our animal ones. And once they get suggested, people are gonna go to your channel and watch your other videos. Another thing that we did is our mom posted on Facebook and Instagram that we have a channel and to come check it out. And a lot of people from our church and our friends and our family have been watching them, but also other people have too. But we did wait until we posted it and I'm gonna tell you why later. Next is what we're struggling with right now. I feel like we're always gonna have a struggle throughout the whole time but I'm going to tell you what we're struggling with right now. So right now, people aren't watching our videos through all the way. And our videos aren't that long. They're like four minutes tops right now, but we're gonna try and make them a little longer. But what we did try for a little bit was making them shorter, about two minutes, and that wasn't doing very well either. So we're still trying to figure out what people like, but we have ours set to made for kids, and kids, what they do is they tap on your video, they watch it a little bit, and then they go to the next video. That's just how kids watch videos. Another thing is getting views. We had a video that we posted one morning and it got a ton of views. And then our channel just kind of blew up and one of our videos has almost hit 1,000 views. And that, that was really big for us. And all the videos we've posted since only have like up to 200 views and we're not doing very good right now so we're trying to figure out why that video blew up and we're trying to figure out how we can make other videos that are going to get more attention like that now we're going to talk about new things that we're trying first thing that we're gonna try is posting once a week we've been posting twice a week and it's been a lot it's been just a lot of thinking about what's next and not worrying about the video at the time but worrying about what's next and so we're gonna try and post once a week and have a whole week to just do our best on editing and make better videos rather than more videos and we're gonna see if that helps the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try to switch to family viewing once we first started we were aiming more for toddlers and little kids but all our grandparents and adults that are watching it are saying, why did you do this? I want more information. What kind of animal is that? And what breed? And all that sort of stuff. So, but you notice that when you post a video, it says, is this for kids or is it not for kids? We are gonna try and say, no, it's not for kids, but people under 18 can still watch that video unless you put it for people under 18 can't watch it. And we're going to try and see if that attracts more people and gives us more views. The next thing we're gonna talk about is don't tell people right away. We wanted to tell people right away. We wanted to tell everyone, but we decided not to because if we decided YouTube was not for us, we didn't wanna get everyone all excited for it. And also we are waiting for at least 10 videos to post it so that um, it would give them more of a reason to like it and want to subscribe because if they watched one video they'd probably just forget about it someone just woke up from his nap and wanted to say hi Oren, can you say hi Oren, can you say hi say hi to the people no another thing i want to talk to you about is youtube shorts youtube shorts is a new thing that YouTube is pushing and we have only posted one short and we posted it yesterday and within the hour we got 46 views and I think that's pretty good and we've gotten some new subscribers and normally we only get like one subscriber every other day sometimes we get more when we post a video and when we get a really popular video we get more views um, but we got a few subscribers yesterday and I think that's just from the short that we had posted so we're gonna try posting more shorts and also see if that helps our channel more. And one of the last things I wanna talk to you about is the description. A lot of people, they just write the description of the video and you can use it for a lot more than that. So 
what we started doing in our YouTube videos is we put the description of what the video is about. We put a couple links to our videos, what we filmed, edited on, and our count of subscribers so that we can go back and see how many subscribers we had when we posted that video. Okay, analytics. Let's go. So I have our analytics set for the last 28 days, but in the last 28 days, we got 3,786 views. And that is actually, I think, quite a bit but we've only been doing this channel for about that long, maybe a little bit longer. And for watch time hours, we got 77.7 .7 watch time hours. And currently we have 59 subscribers. So I think that is actually pretty good for beginners. I think that about wraps this video up. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out our other videos. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will gladly answer them for you. Another video will come out in a month. I hope you found this helpful. See you next time, bye. <laughs>